Good morning. I'm Andy Myers at Weiss Research. I'm Jen Amos, and this is your morning market update for Tuesday, September 13th. Sentiment on Wall Street and around the world is largely negative, as investors continue to worry about the fallout from European sovereign debt crisis. More on that in a moment, but first up is the latest data on the U.S. economy. The cost of imports declined by four-tenths of a percent in August, mainly due to a drop in fuel prices during the month. Import prices have now fallen in two of the past three months, but economists had been expecting a bigger decline in August. Price import data is viewed as a key indicator of inflation pressures. U.S. stocks are still searching for direction following that report. Meanwhile, in Europe, the major indexes have moved back into positive territory toward the end of a volatile trading session. Stocks across Europe started the day with solid gains, following reports that Italy's finance minister had met with a delegation of Chinese officials last week. That boosted hopes that China would buy Italian government debt. But according to Market News International, a senior Chinese banking official denied that the government was interested, saying the European bond markets are too unstable. Europe got another piece of bad news later this morning, with the release of a new survey from Bank of America Merrill Lynch. It finds that more than half of Europe's fund managers now expect the region to fall into recession within the next 12 months. That's a sharp increase from the 14 percent who said they anticipated a recession in July. Those fears, along with the spiraling sovereign debt crisis, have driven risk appetite among European investors to its lowest level since early in 2009. While European stocks have actually regained some momentum, the region's shared currency continues to flag. The euro is sinking toward $1.36. But the dollar's relative strength today is not being matched by a corresponding decline in commodity prices. Gold is rebounding from yesterday's 2.5% drop, which was driven by investors forced to sell the precious metal to cover losses in equities. Gold is now trading at around $1,825 an ounce. Meanwhile, crude oil is gaining about a buck, moving back above $89 a barrel. The International Energy Agency cut its forecast for oil demand this year and next because of the slowing global economy. But it warned that prices may stay high for some time because supply problems are likely to persist despite the restart of oil production in Libya. On the corporate front, one of the day's biggest decliners may be Best Buy. It reported a 30 percent decline in fiscal second quarter profit, while revenue also fell short of estimates. The number one U.S. electronics retailer also cut its outlook for the full year. Shares of Best Buy are dropping more than 4 percent on the news, making it the worst performer on the S&P 500. On the other side of the spectrum, Aetna is jumping 3 percent after the insurer projected full year earnings above its previous forecast. And finally, keep an eye on Cisco Systems. The networking equipment firm is meeting with shareholders today, just as some analysts say the company's restructuring efforts are starting to pay off. Despite that upbeat viewpoint, Cisco shares are still down more than 20% on the year. That's the latest from Weiss Research. Have a great trading day.